hello students in our last class we have started chapter called solid state and there we have seen uh, the general characteristics of solids classification of solids as crystalline and amorphous based on the nature then we have seen the classification of solids uh, molecular solids ionic solids metallic solids uh, and covalent solid along with examples now after that we have seen about the unit cell okay unit cell and then we have seen its types like primitive unit cell uh, bcc body centered cubic unit cell then we have got fcc face centered cubic unit cell like that and now today we are going to see the crystal systems okay there are seven types of primitive unit cell okay these are called seven crystal systems and they are basically uh, as shown in the diagram cubic cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic hexagonal rhombohedral and triclinic next what we need to know is the number of atoms in a cubic unit cell what is the number of atoms this is very very important say for example in a simple or primitive cubic unit cell what is the number of atoms per unit cell so it is calculated in this way so the formula tells us number of atoms present in each unit cell is equal to eight corner atoms that means this eight eight corner atoms into one by eight atom per unit cell that means one this point or we call atom is said by eight atom or eight side we can say so we have got eight corners one two three four five six seven eight and each corner will be said by one by eight atom so eight and eight will get cancelled and it will come as so number of atoms per unit cell is one similarly similarly uh, we'll go for body centered we'll go for body centered cubic unit cell and face centered cubic unit cell say for example for bcc body centered cubic unit cell in this number of atoms number of atoms present at corners per unit cell is eight corner atoms that is fine because we have got eight corners after that it will be one by eight atom per unit cell that is also fine which will come as one atom number of atom at body center is one and once again at body center means at the center we have got one atom so total number of atoms in bcc arrangement will be one plus one this one will be for this one and that this one will come for the one body centered atom so the bcc has two atoms per unit cell similarly similarly if you see for face centered cubic unit cell so we have got eight corners so it is the first formula will be the same eight corner atoms into one by eight atom per unit cell and after that the number of atoms face center means at each phase we have got one one atom so for that number of atoms present at faces per unit cell is six atoms at the faces okay six phase into one by two because this phase will be said by this atom will be said by two phase this side and this side so one by two so which will come as three so total number of atoms will be one plus three that will come as four so we came to know that in simple or primitive unit cell the number of atoms per unit cell is one in body centered unit cell cubic unit cell it is two and for face centered cubic unit cell it is four these numbers you need to remember because later on we'll be doing the numericals at that time we'll be needing this number of atoms in different cubic units so